say that I think people like this sound. I'm getting chopped up, but I think the squeaky table kind of... Squeaky table takes <laughs> it away, huh? Yeah. But I think visually it looks pretty cool, though. There, how's that? Oh, you fixed it. I just leaned up against it. <laughs> High tech, huh? Yeah. It's kind of funny, like now that we're looking at it, like there's some that came out really nice. But, yeah. Uh, um, so the first, the first run of cream crosses were a little wrinkly. Yeah. Um, you know, the uh, the bowl replacement on this in rubber is a little tricky. Let's yeah. Say it like that. So um, I just went and asked Terry if, if we can run it without the blower, like I do with the marshmallows, uh, to get that nice smooth finish, and she okayed it. So we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. So what you're right saying is the people are gonna get more chocolate yeah yeah <laughs> i mean hopefully i'm gonna make it pretty much the same but yeah. uh worst case scenario yeah you get more chocolate oh, on your creep darn pizza. i know i know everybody probably just turned the video off right there yeah when do we want less chocolate <laughs> when do we want it now you know it when we buy it <laughs> all the time <laughs> we never want enough chocolate yeah, uh, I guess we should just get rid of this thing then, huh? Yeah. This is like the too much chocolate machine. All right. I'm loading all these up and I'm gonna run like three at a time, so figure that out. <laughs> and these are vanilla cream crosses? Yep. Yep, so same as the uh, the vanilla drops. Yeah. Which are actually you did those, right? Yeah, they're right, right, they're right up there oh. on the top. Those are the, just the chocolate drop, same flavor. Vanilla. Same flavor, twice as pointy. This cream tastes pointy. Does this taste pointy to you? It's gonna have to shake a little bit. Yeah, mine will do that sometimes too. Yeah. See? It's not so bad, right? Yeah. Maybe a little more shake on the shaker. What color should I use, Craig? Pink, purple, and blue. <laughs> no yellow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are you, are you impressed? <laughs> yeah. Are you impressed? So anyone who gets a cream crosses, they're going to be done only by you? Uh, nope, Joe's doing the dark ones, I'm doing the milk ones. Oh, okay. So now the people will know, if you got a milk one, Max, if you get a dark one, Joe did. I sure did, and so did he. <laughs> but the, so the milk ones, you poured the, you made the starch molds and poured the cream, and you're going to cover them. Yep, I, and, uh, I pour all the cream. Yeah. Yep. But it's just interesting thinking that one, if you get these, one person did everything except for the wrapper. Because a lot of things, it's like, you know, you you might, uh, like for the, oh, the yeah, dark yeah. ones, like you poured the creams and made the star swans, but Joe's going to uh, enrobe it, and then maybe Karen or Sam will wrap it. And with some stuff, like one person might enrobe it, but somebody else is decorating it, and yeah. somebody else is wrapping it. And yeah. 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 I mean, tree work, tree tree work makes the team work. Yeah. You know what they say. Alright, so those were a little trippy. Uh, yeah. 
of like the paper apples. I just turn up the shaker a little bit, but sometimes when you turn up the shaker, they start going all over the place. Yeah. So. Uh, the whole thing? Yeah, it's playing a balancing game right now. Yeah, I'm happy with those, so I don't care about This time, coach Briggs. Yes. Oh man. I think so. Blue's getting some extra love today. I guess it was purple. Great. Right. You happy with that? Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's getting any better than that, so. Yeah. If I turn up the shaker too much, like I said, they'll just start flying all over the place, bouncing into each other and everything, <laughs> so. I don't want to do that. A little bear spot on the back. They kind of all do. Oh, the bear spots on the, the bottom right or something? Yeah, just on the just on the bottom there. It's you know, it's a sheer face, so it's kind of hard to get to. And yeah. A little bit of cornstarch left on it. Yeah, I forgot how quick these run. How what? How quick they run. Oh yeah, like they're so big. Yeah, I've only done one tray worth. Yeah. like how like they're pretty uniform they're massive <laughs> So I was trying to uh, like do them in order, you know, like pink, yellow, blue, purple, you know, make sure I had like a nice even distribution. Not every time for that. Yeah. How long do you think you have before it all starts uh, solidifying without it on there? Oh, it's already solidifying. Yeah. I mean, we've got that fan right there and the AC's on, so like it's literally just funneling like <laughs> 60 degree air on top of these things. Yeah. <laughs> these are the only things that, like with everything else, I don't care if it's all piled up and everything, but with these guys, I don't know what it is, I just always feel like they're going to snap in half or something. Oh yeah. You know? Like they're so hefty, they probably wouldn't, but... Yeah. It makes me all nervous.
to work, Maximus. Do you really mean it? Uh, I guess. Not if I have to. You're not the worst candy maker in this room. Wait, aren't I? I if I were to make candy, I'd probably do it worse. Oh, uh, okay, all right. But I mean, you're you're like a media guy, not a. You know what I mean? It's like it's pretty existential. You're not the worst potential candy maker mm, in this room. Mm, okay, all right. Hi, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're doing, well, right now we're doing butterscotch hard candy. So I'm going to show you how I do this. A lot of people have been asking for the single flavors. Yes, they have. So um, today, we, for single flavors, we have lemonade and butterscotch. And I'm sorry, I already did the lemonade. <laughs> I forgot Craig wanted me to film that. <laughs> so we're going to do this. So already, I went and printed out a bunch of labels for the UPC. And we put the date right on it now. So I have two different stickers. And then we take these bags full of desiccant. And we put one in each bag. So I label all the bags. I put a desiccant in a whole bunch of bags, trying to make it as fast as I can go instead of doing one at a time. And then I just put it in the bin, fill the bin. Nice and I, sometimes I do a whole bunch at one time and just put like a peep, you know, I'll go like this. And I'll just do a couple. And then I'll come over and weigh. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's it's faster. Yeah. So I'm at 8.2, so I'll go, well, it's supposed to be eight. Ooh, right on the money. <laughs> okay. That so one was point two. Yes. Wow. Usually it's That's about point. Piece. Yeah. It's about what they are. So then I'll just keep doing that and I'll do them all like this. But I'm just going to show you the final piece. I go like this, and everybody does it different. And then I fold it down like this. I'm going to take my label and I go. I used to fold them all so they were nice and pretty, and then I said, oh, that takes way too long. Yeah. And we want it to be usually skimming the top of the product so it looks nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. Instead of, like, putting it way up here and it's all, you know, too, too much air. air. Yeah. And the desiccate really does work because in the beginning we, didn't, we weren't using that, and then mm -hmm. we said, hmm, it's turning into one big, hard uh, piece of candy. Yeah. <laughs> so, which is fine. You can just yeah. go like that, and it will break apart but the mm -hmm. dust kit does work really well yeah so that is what is in there folks is the dust kit head mm -hmm. so this is our new butterscotch flavor and if we do this again you might see that it might be lighter in color it might be darker it's just temperature controlled so don't be alarmed that oh this isn't it yeah. it's it is so and it's delicious yeah so. i can attest to that So over here for hard candy, we just have the fruit and friendly where the butterscotch is in that. First time we did butterscotch was in a fruit and friendly batch. Uh, and then so many people liked it. They were like, you know what? Let's just do some butterscotch just for people to buy because it was a really popular flavor. The other ones that we have that are just singular flavors right now are the tropical uh, fruit punch. And then like Sam said, we have the lemonade, which I, I'm kind of conflicted if I like lemonade or butterscotch more. What do you guys think? What was the question? <laughs> I was Lemon talking to Karen. Uh, lemonade or butterscotch butter, you think? Um, I can't say because I haven't had the lemonade yet. Oh, no? <laughs> I haven't no. either. No, but yeah. you know what? We could taste Butter it right now. Okay. If you want to try the lemonade, I have a couple pieces there. You do? I hid them. There was a couple left. You just got a stash? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is all that was left when I bagged it up, so I save it. Miss Karen, lemonade for you. Wow. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I like the lemonade better than the butterscotch. Does butterscotch is good, but... You can really taste it. Yeah, this is... Is it like more sour than the lemon? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not really sour, but it's like perfect sour like yeah because lemonade's not super right. sour but it's like sour i think i but might it's like i'm drinking it <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, could we put this in like a drink mm -hmm. just put it in water water oh yeah lemon water that's great for you but no that this i think it it's probably good. my favorite one, yeah, one? out of all of them i think it's my favorite mm. Mm. a lot of people do ask for sour so this would probably be sorry i'm talking my mouth full um, 
if we added a little more, what is it, the citric that, acid? The citric acid. If we put a little, acid too. I go so the yeah, if we put a little more of that, I garlic think the people, <laughs> no, not garlic. Oh. They would really like it because they a lot of people have been asking for the sour. Yeah. And we don't really have anything really sour. Yeah, and we've never done hot candy. People have asked about hot candy too. Ooh. Like yeah. a cinnamon hot, like those little cinnamon heart yeah. things that you buy. Hot tamales. Are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like people have been asking about uh, like cayenne, something with cayenne as well. Mm. So I'm excited for after Easter doing like more sour stuff, maybe hot stuff, maybe venturing mm. into that. Taffy, different types of brittle. The taffy. Franks. Would be. What do you hot mean sauce. different types of brittle? Brittle Sam's here already <laughs> has uh, one, two, three nuts now. You know how many days that takes me? <laughs> what, but seriously, what, what do you mean? Uh, Other... I think they were contemplating adding some coconut. Uh, coconut and... brittle? Like no, in a- with... adding coconut to it, I oh, think, okay. if okay. I remember correctly. I'm just going off memory. That might actually not be bad. Yeah. I, can, I, I, I love coconut. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Dad, I got a couple questions. Uh, what types of brittle were we contemplating doing this year? After oh, Easter. Just, just one more addition, maybe almond. Oh, almond. Oh, I thought you guys talked about doing putting coconut in. Well, yes, sorta. I mean, but I'd like to just try one thing yeah. at a time. Yeah. Uh, a coconut, a pecan coconut, maybe or something, or almond coconut. Mm-hmm. I forget which one it was. So. Yeah. Even if you just do it with like one batch, just see how people like it. But the only thing is the coconut. Uh, you got to put it in right at the very end when we're adding bacon soda yeah. or something because uh, uh, we'll I think the, it will just evaporate like into, oh, yeah. the, into the brittle because Maybe. it's so hot. And, uh, mm. Only one way to find out. Because when I make eggs with coconut, if you put the coconut in too early, you can't see any more coconut anymore. It just kind of disappears into the, into yeah. the cream. and. It's like it's not even there. It adds to the flavor, but yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like to see it too. That's good. And have a little texture. Yeah. But yeah, instead of like adding coconut flavoring or something. Yeah. And uh, how, do you know how? Do you remember how much uh, citric acid was put into the last batch of lemonade? Or do you think uh, five tablespoons? Just five? Because I remember. Well. Yeah, that's a little bit more because I was well, because I was thinking last time you did twelve three before, teaspoons. We're trying to find the right place. Five yeah. so far. I don't know. I hope to ask everybody what they think of it. Yeah. It's all trial and error, huh? Yeah. I mean, to me, I like it real sour. Tarty. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's tartness, right? Yeah, sour yeah, tart. Sour, yeah. yeah. I, I like it that way, yeah. but not everybody does. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, they were because uh, I know we were talking about making actual sour candy, not yeah. like necessarily lemonade, but something sour. It's like, oh, yeah. In the summertime, we were thinking of trying that. And yeah, something. I'm just excited to try new stuff. Yeah, making videos of new stuff and then actually getting to taste it. Yeah, It'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, next, next, this well, this summer it's pretty yeah. around the corner now. Yeah, it's like a month away. Yeah, like five weeks. Five. Yeah, we'll take it easy after Easter for a couple yeah. of weeks. You know, settle down and <laughs> and then get back to it again. But. Yeah. So we took these ones out. I take it. Yes. Should I be a detective? Yeah. I think I missed my calling. Yeah. Your your grasp of the obvious is quite stunning. Mm-hmm. You could be a PI for sure. So. These are a little kind of, these I think these are the biggest ones we do on the Innover. Yeah. And they're a little bit, um, they're not like super fragile, but we can't like toss them around. Yeah. You know, in the screen, so we have to. Just do one at a time. One at a time. You don't know how many you can do? Not really. I mean, I don't know how many I can fit in a tray. Mm. Did you never try to max it out before? Well, this is the first time I've ever done these. Mm. Ever. So. Yeah, like you were saying earlier, these are more delicate, so you can't just like 
We're not Scooping dumping them right in there. Yeah, Steve's yeah. like, you didn't dump them in there, did you? <laughs> I'm like, no, Steve, I didn't dump them in there. One at a time. I just did three. Don't tell Steve. What the heck? He's going to be very cross with me. Oh, see. Have you ever got Max on camera dumping one of these? No. <laughs> have you gotten? Have you done I got that? Max on camera? No, I was, no. I was trying to say, have you done that? Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, before you came in, I swept <laughs> it under there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just get it at the end of the day? Yeah. So yeah, we're just doing these uh, one by one. Checking on you. Make sure you're not clowning around. Oh, okay. Nobody knows what the big idea is. Nobody knows. <laughs> but I read something about it in the newspaper. Keep up the good work. We're all counting on you. <laughs> yeah. You got some pretty big shoes to fill. Uh, I'm used to juggling axe. Like, yeah, you can't make a small car pun. But. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Do we? I, I'm like, I feel like if I say you can't make clown puns for that long, like the whole comment section is just to be clown puns. Yeah. But. Oh, don't worry. We'll we'll check back, and you know, a week or two from now, you'll know all the clown puns. Steal all the content. Yeah. How did they come up with so many puns? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> Uh, is it possible to raise this so we can get a closer look? Yeah. Or? Oh, okay. Yeah, why right. not? Why I have to take time. off this tripod real quick, and then we will get on over there. We'll be back. One minute. That's what I love about this in rubber, is it can get right up close to it without yeah. the case. With that one, you cannot. It's harder to shoot over there. Yeah, you know what I love about these? That I don't have to patch every single one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do you use the blower over here for this, these ones? Oh, it is? I guess it's not very high. Yeah, well, it's... The blower on this one doesn't have any settings like that. It's either uh -huh. on or off. So we can only raise it or lower it physically. And if I bring this down any lower, it's going to start scraping the crosses. Uh -huh. You know, they, they've each got their, their limits. Do you have a favorite color, Craig? Like which one works best? The color one that works best with the Probably blue. Yeah. Yeah, this is for the purple one. Big purple, purple, purple one best? With the dark chocolate. Yeah. With the milk, I don't know. Kind of like the Pink yellow with the, the yeah. milk, yeah. Yeah. Personal preference. What do you like with the milk? I'd say the pink or the blue, I think. Yeah. You put like uh, about five down when you do this? Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to keep that gap after the first one's running yeah. around you. You see how far apart they are on this side? Yeah. Look at those, man. Let's so. run this. And just from hitting like just this little curtain, it's not just like there's a big it. one on, you know, like on that one. Yeah. But yeah, I'm definitely I'm trying to get as many down as I can. I just you know. Yeah. <laughs> don't know how to go.
like I haven't shot this in Rover in a while. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You guys sell more milk than dark. physical way to do it. I remember you like getting in all these weird positions and stuff like yeah. halfway through the video you just hear me go like you guys can't see it but <laughs> if you could see what the position Craig's in right now you'd be like what, what are you doing? He's trying hard to get you a good video. <laughs> I'm doing my darndest. Oh who put that there? <laughs> Hold up that tray. Two more after the infinite, <laughs> infinity plus two crosses. <laughs> Do you remember that when we were kids? Like, it'd be like something, something times infinity. Yeah. Times infinity plus one. Oh, times infinity Got plus me again. two. You just keep going. Times infinity times two. Whoa. Yeah, it's a good thing we didn't know about squares back then. Yeah. All right. I, I only knew about triangles. Long time before I figured out what squares were. Man, you didn't heard of circles? I heard about circles, circles. first from the from the cootie shot. What's that? Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now you get. I know what dots shot. are. Oh well, circles are kind of like big dots with another dot in the middle. Huh? Yeah. Can you see it in your head? Or I mean, I could draw it for you, but it's pretty complicated. Yeah, I get it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. You do for sure. Okay. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Explain it back to me. Uh, I think I hear my dad calling me. <laughs> Is it hard to do with one hand? Yeah. <laughs> How's that? It's acceptable. Acceptable amount. Yeah. I'll let it slide this time. Thanks. You're the best son. So far. <laughs> Do you just have enough chocolate to do one bunny at a time? Kind of, yeah. Yeah? Yep. If you do more than one bunny, is it just too hard to manage the temperature? Oh, no, it's just... I mean, I can do okay. more, but... Okay, I was wondering. I'll do more. Okay. How's that? Alright. Oh, we'll do more. More! more. sound when you're rubbing them on the table. Ruffles. You can hear that? Mm -hmm. I'll let it sit for a minute. see what it is right now. Let's see. It's uh, 85. 
gotta go to 82 or less. It's just about there. Yep. Yep. That potato chips pulled down a little bit? Yeah. What temperature do you think potato chips are? Room temp. So you think, what, 60 something? It says 65 in here. There's only one way to find out how warm the potato chips are. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it says 66. Wow, they are room temp. Uh huh. I shall not tell a lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if it must be going down now. 84. Getting there. Been making these potato chip bunnies all day. Yeah. Got to make sixty of them. Well, how many have you made so far? Well, only about twenty-five. A long day ahead of you, huh? Mm, tomorrow I'll finish them. Yeah. It's a good reminder, huh? Yeah, I got uh, three boxes. Yeah. Uh, number, we call them number 40s. See? Number, oh, the number's wearing off. Yeah. 40. That's our secret number. Yeah. Not everybody does that. Not everyone has a number for yeah. the funny olds. Yeah. It's our secret code. How do you guys uh, pick the number? Well, the chicks are the smallest ones. We start with them. They're number one. Yeah. <laughs> we go by the size. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Dad, now everyone knows the code. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I forgot. You know nothing? <laughs> I know nothing. It's a secret. They'll keep it a secret out there. They won't yeah. tell anybody. Yeah. What was I know nothing from? The old um, Schultz, Schultz from um, uh, F, no, not F Troop, um, <laughs> Stalock 13. Mm. It was, uh, Schultz was a uh, uh, sergeant uh, outside the barracks guarding the uh, Americans. And he was. Just a fun-loving guy. He didn't really want to be there. Mm. So they like, let him get away with stuff. And yeah. Just go, I know nothing. Yep. <laughs> just walk away. <laughs> I pack them as many potato chips as I can. Make sure the ears are filled. <laughs> so you can't hear anything. Yeah. Just okay. Trying to even it out. Yep, that's pretty good. Now I just gotta make forty more. Yeah. What are you doing? Making some cereal. Milk first. It's a little early for ice cream, isn't it? <laughs> it's never too early for ice cream. This isn't ice cream. It's mayonnaise <laughs> and, and olives. <laughs> Comfort food. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> what is this for? Uh, buttercreams. The buttercream creams, not the eggs. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. We do both. Wow. Can you believe it? It's pretty cool. No, it's pretty warm. It's like 110 uh, degrees. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Is that put in the pastry bag? Yep. 
I'm just uh, scooping a little bit at a time. And I still have like half the run of the buttercream eggs, so I'll just put it in the fridge for a while and yeah. hopefully it'll cool off by the time I'm done. Pretty technical stuff, huh? The most technical. Yeah. Did you follow all that or no, like, I should didn't. I explain it for you? I'd ask you to explain it, but I just got lost again. You go right over your head. Yeah. yeah. So this is what the peanut butter chocolate looks like when you get it? Yep. Are you making the peanut butter potato chip bark? Yes, I am. Uh, my powers of deduction are unparalleled. You're, wow. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> when you open up a Christmas gift from a five-year-old? Wow. Would you look at that? Isn't that neat? It's just what I wanted. <laughs> you remember, huh? See? Good bark. I love it. <laughs> now I pet it. it. <laughs> now I hug it. <laughs> so if I do hug it, I'll get all chocolate. Yeah. I'm sure some of the viewers will be like, I'll hug it. Mm -hmm. They say they want to go swimming in it. Like, well, I think yeah. you think that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they'd like to. <laughs> Lots of people would. Getting cold now on the outside. Yeah. Almost ready for peanut butter. Oh, see, this is cold. Yeah. How often do you do bark? Mm, at least uh, once a week. Yeah. Different barks. Uh, sometimes just potato chips, sometimes potato chip peanut butter, sometimes almond bark, sea salt. Oreo. Yeah, an Oreo. The yeah. orange hard candy. Well, yeah, once a week anyways. Yeah. Some bark. When was the last time you guys made brittle? Uh, a week ago. Yeah? And then hard candy? Was like yeah, about a week yesterday. Or so. Yeah. <laughs> and before that, it was like a week or so? Yeah, it was two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. So you usually make, what, so uh, brittle one week, hard candy the next or something? Every two weeks we make brittle and hard candy. Yeah. Which, that's pretty good. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, it's good because then uh, people who, well, this time of year, pretty much anyone in the U.S. can uh, can order their order their candy without a cold pack, you know, unless you're in, like, Florida or Texas or somewhere warm. But if you're in, like, Pennsylvania and, you know, New yeah. Jersey, you're yeah, right probably going to be able to get away with yeah. without it for now. Yeah, for now, yeah. So enjoy it while you got it because it's that season's ending pretty soon. It'll probably be that way from now until at least Easter. Yeah. You know, until April 12th. I mean, I'm looking forward to warmer weather, though. Well, yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. I'm just glad we don't have to brush off our car anymore. <laughs> the trees will be green, the yards will be green. All right, well, I'd like to get a video of you finishing this, but I gotta get out of here. Okay, well, so I'm doing peanut butter in a few minutes. All right, well. I guess if you want to see it, we have other videos that yeah. we can link up here in the <laughs> iCards or maybe down in the des description. We've done it enough times. Yeah. People can see it, but. All right. Good work, Dad. Okay, thanks. I'll see you later. Bye.